Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. We are like 20 minutes away from Ithaca right now. Uh, we are heading to my sorority house and we're gonna move in. So this is my second move to Cornell with me vlog. I'm really excited for this one and I really hope you enjoy it. We had to take two cars because I have too many things, which is scary being back on campus. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, a, I'm really excited for this year and a week, and I'm just grateful to be back. I'll be at the sorority house in like five minutes, so I'm excited to show you guys. Oh my goodness, we're here. This is basically my parents' first time seeing the sorority house. So they're kind of in awe. So pretty. Okay, so my parents started unloading everything from the car already but this is my room. It is so unbelievably gorgeous. I feel so grateful that I'm able to live here. Oh my gosh. So we have the TV here. We have this kind of separate bathroom that we're sharing with two other girls. So that's gonna be awesome. And then out here, which I'm really excited about, is, oh my God, is this porch. Isn't this amazing? Like I'm gonna come out here and have coffee in the morning. We have to clean these, but this is just absolutely insane. These are Mars are brand new and they're wicked tall, but we have a ton of storage, which is lovely. And then we also have this under bed storage, which is great. Um, and I'm really excited about this. These shelves seem so fun, not only just for storage, but also just for, just, you know, decor in general. And then this is honestly a really small closet. I'm going to talk to Natalie, my roommate, about what we're going to do with this. I was thinking maybe just putting like our laundry hampers in here so we don't have to look at them might be a smart idea because we do have two of the armoires, but this is what made me want this room the fireplace even though obviously it's not a real fireplace we can't use it i was so excited to potentially get stockings during the christmas season and hang these up and make it christmas themed is that nerdy i don't know but it's just so gorgeous and then over here we kind of have this beautiful little window it's not necessarily a seat wait do these open no, not really. I think that's a that's a heater. Never mind. But I think I'm gonna take this bed if possible. We have my mattress topper right there, and I might make this a photo wall. So. I show the frames. Yeah. Okay. We have this one of me and my friends. We have the monster mash from Friendlies. We have this Cape Cod beach one. This is a framed photo of Natalie's dogs that I find really funny and I'm gonna surprise her with this. And then my boyfriend and I, I almost just dropped all of these frames. I just feel really grateful that I get to live in a room like this. It's just so beautiful. Honestly, all of the rooms in this house are so amazing. We just went on a tour and got to see all of the rooms completely empty. And I'm like, there's really not a single bad room in this house. So I'm so excited to decorate this. Also, we moved the desks here as opposed to having them here just because they kind of blocked the view of the fireplace and we felt like they made a little bit more sense there. And then we're thinking about putting the TV here. I'm really excited about this rug. I think it's pretty. Abby brought- got coffee and it literally tastes like cow. What? What do you mean it literally- My cold brew literally tastes like actual like- Cow? From the cow, like- Wow. That's they burn. They burnt. Dear diary, I hate it here. <laughs> we have dad out here also continuing to try to 
do something with this bookshelf. Um, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know, I like the blue theme though. They are hard at work. You can hear the clock tower. basket we have this this is a jewelry stand i might put this here as well pumpkin i'm a big fall girly so we have some more pumpkins don't really know what we're gonna do with those yet hydrangeas are my favorite flower so we got these fake ones from michael's and i think we do have to trim them some more because they don't fit we also have that and then we have to decide what we're doing with the mantle. We have a lot of pumpkins, you guys. And then I think everything's coming together really well. Abby and Dad are still outside. Is it burning? Setting up the TV. That's really cool, Molly. So we have photos that I want to put on my wall with like these little sticky things but I always end up having them slightly slanted and it makes my dad actually so angry and he's a carpenter so you know what we brought or he made me bring a laser hold on close your eyes close your eyes and this is to make everything level because that's necessary so go get one you can just go back and forth. Interesting. Hi! Okay, I finally finished the photo wall. I think that they look pretty good. We went to Wegmans and Trader Joe's and stocked up on some stuff. Want to go hike? Yeah. Okay, we went to Target last night and got a mirror for this mantle and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I mean, I think it's like an okay size, but I do feel like it needs something else. So let me know in the comments just because, I don't know, it just needs a few more trinkets, I feel like. And these things up here, they were already here when we got here and so I'm scared to take them off because I don't want to be the person who gets charged when they're like, hey, this is in the wall but I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, let me know if there's anything you can think of that I should add. Okay, so I think I'm gonna split this video into two parts. The first one you're watching right now, the move-in, and the second will be kind of an actual room tour where I show you guys the entire room and like say where I got some stuff. Would you guys be interested in that? Just because I don't wanna make this video too long and I would love to show you guys the finished product. My roommate isn't here yet, so. Yeah, that would be really fun. Let me know what you guys think. I just, I still cannot get over how unbelievably beautiful this house is. I'm so grateful. I know I keep saying that, but I just feel like I recognize how insane this is and how gorgeous everything is. And I feel like you get, you know, more of an appreciation for it when your dad's a carpenter. He's like pointing out all of the little things because it's such an old house and it has kind of cool trim and things like that. But, um, whatever so i really hope you enjoyed today's video please like comment subscribe do all the things and yeah make sure to watch the second part of this video which will be an actual room tour where i say where i got everything so yeah thank you so much for watching bye